In this video, we're going to play around with Visio's print preview feature and see the kind of things that you can do when it's time to print and how you can see what they're going to do before you actually commit to printing on the paper. So again, we'll start with our favorite sample drawing, the IT Asset Management. Double click on that and up comes a drawing. And we'll get rid of the data because we don't need that. So again, this drawing has three pages two racks and a network diagram and what we're going to do is just go to the backstage area and say file print print preview now now we're in the print preview window and you can see that the ribbon has a lot fewer tabs you can still get back to the backstage area but we've only got the print preview tab now it looks like the Visio drawing window except that my cursor is a magnifying glass and I can't click on any of the shapes I still have my page tabs can even look at the background page but if I click on something I just zoom in and then the cursor turns to a minus magnifying glass which zooms me back out another thing I can do is go to the tiles now tile in print preview represents a, a sheet of printer paper so normally we were working in the Visio drawing window working on a drawing page but print preview gives us a view into the actual sheets of paper that we're going to use and that the word for that is tile right now we're just got, we've got three pages if we hit next tile next tile we'll we'll see that we have three tiles or three pages will print it out and you'll notice that it goes gray here and stops short of the background because background pages don't don't print out separately let's go back to the beginning now t this is this becomes a lot more interesting if you think about something maybe you want to do print this page out on a in a very large format but you don't have a really big plotter printer in your office so one thing you can do is make the drawing a lot bigger inside of the drawing window which is a lot of work and you have to change the font sizes and hope that these little data graphics resize properly and all that or you can just scale the printed output without touching the drawing at all. Now in the print preview tab you'll see up here we've got page setup. If we click on that, let's just stay here on the print setup tab. Let's not mess with any of the other things that affect the actually actual drawing page and shapes on it. And you'll see that we've got a fit to one sheet across by one sheet down option. So what happens if we change this to three by three sheets? And you can see as I change the numbers, Visio's showing me the relationship between the drawing page and the printer paper. So let's make this three. And now you can see that what Visio's trying to tell me is there's going to be nine sheets of paper used to, to create this. So the drawing page now is spread across nine sheets of printer paper. So let's just say apply. And now you can see that we've got single tiles that go across this blown up printed output. Now we can do the whole page as well by clicking on the whole page button and you'll see that as I mouse over each tile is highlighted in red and if I click I can zoom into that tile. If I click out Visio zooms back out a little bit I can click on another tile and zoom in on it or I can just go back to the whole page. So page one is now going to print across nine tiles or nine pages what about our whole document let's see what happens if we keep going through the tiles you can see this page still occupies a single tile this page still occupies a single tile but page one is spread across nine different tiles as I keep hitting previous tile so that's print preview is really it's really good to stop at print preview before you send a job to the printer because you might have some some surprises. If we close print preview and we go to the design tab, you'll see here there's also page setup dialog box box launcher. If I click on that, you'll see that we still have our three by three setting applied to page one. Now some people will start here in the page setup and change the print magnification and that's where you'll want to double check in print preview that indeed you, you're going to get what you think you're going to get.
So let's close that up. We're back in the Visio. Now let's go to page two and say, well, this drawing is actually kind of tall. What happens if we change the orientation of it? So if we go to the Design tab and say Portrait, you can see this drawing fits fits fairly well on portrait on a portrait dra drawing page. Let's just move it a little bit more in the center and pull this legend over here. So we've changed the the page orientation. What happens in Print Preview? Now I can go to File Print Preview, but I've actually added the button for Print Preview to my Quick Access Toolbar because it's easily available right here. It's built into the it, it, into this pre-populated list that ships with Visio 2000. You can always find more commands down here, but they've got some really common items and print pre previews one of them, so I just put it right here. Let's click on that, and you can see that this is going to print just fine. Visio is going to flip the the output so that it's printed on a portrait page, but the next page is still landscape, and the previous tiles are still landscape. So that, that's pretty convenient when you use the, let's close print preview, when you use the design tab and you use the orientation to change it, Visio not only changes the orientation of your drawing page, but also of the printer paper. The reason this is important too is, is it's easy to get confused here as you're working with a multi-page document. You can see we've got horizontal, horizontal and vertically oriented pages and if you start doing things like this you're, you're not always sure how it's going to print out and that's why you want to go to the print preview dialog to double check that before you before you waste any trees. So that's a quick look at the print preview dialog. There's, a, there's more there to explore but uh, I encourage you to stop there first before you actually click the print button.